And he also puts out a list called the don'ts and be carefuls, which is kind of a new effort to do Paramount's 14 rules again. Hmm. The don'ts include drug taking, prostitution, miscegenation, which, you know, basically effectively segregates the screen. Um, Right. At that point, you basically can't have white people and black people in the same movie. I feel like this is like an old timey racist word, but is this I always thought it technically meant procreating, but really also socialization. Yeah, because even though, you know, it's the 1920s in New York City, White people are going to jazz clubs, for instance. Like there's plenty of places where like white people and black people are mingling and socializing. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't want to see that in a movie because, you know, what is the end goal of going to a nightclub? It's it's to fuck. Mm. What if the people in square states start getting ideas? Hollywood has always been saying. (laughs) Exactly. But, you know, another thing on the don'ts is, quote unquote, sex perversion. So that Mm -hmm. is is any kind of gender bending, any kind of suggestion that there could possibly be any kind of romance or sex between people who are not a man and a woman who are married to one another. I think it's really remarkable, like how good of a job, you know, the people who imposed the censorship did at turning this into something that felt like real life because I feel like now people look back and media is like one of our most direct routes to history and we're like yeah nobody was gay back then and it's like no everybody was gay we just couldn't represent it yeah I mean I feel like over the past I would say six to ten years you know there's been more conversation in culture about things like polyamory or you know Mm -hmm. androgyny being non-binary being gender fluid Mm -hmm. In this way where people act like they're inventing the concept, and Mm -hmm. they are certainly not. (laughs) All of these things have been part of culture, um, have been part of people's lives. As long as people have been having relationships and as long as people have been expressing sexual identities, it's just not always depicted in our movies, our novels, our paintings. Right. I'm reminded of the line in the Brady Bunch movie about how weird the Bradys are because they have a bathroom with no toilet like you know in the in the Brady Bunch series they never showed a toilet and by the same token you could like look at depictions of American life you know pretty recently and be like yeah there were no gay people and there were no toilets yeah completely yeah (laughs) so um obviously another one of the don'ts is criticism of religion but only the jesus ones (laughs) you can make fun of everybody else it's fine yeah certainly there was nobody was upset about making fun of like quote-unquote snake charmers oh my god yeah so yeah the be careful some of the things on that were sedition surgical operations and of course excessive or lustful kissing (laughs) Be careful. So the don'ts and be carefuls, um, you know, they they don't make much of an impact, particularly because (laughs) after the Wall Street crash in 1929, the box office plummets and the studios are like, we got to sell sex. Like it's the (laughs) one thing that's still selling. Wonderful. I love knowing that. (laughs) 